For the Irish, she has her sights set on another championship. Coach Ivy, thank you so much for joining us. Your team is on a roll, 14 and 2, ranked seventh in the top 25 AP poll. How would you assess how they're playing right now at this point in the season? Yeah, well, I'm extremely proud of this group. Um, um, if it wasn't for Coach McGraw, she's somebody I look up to. Um, she's been my mentor, my coach, and my friend. Um, but I'm so impressed just with the versatility of obviously you being an assistant at Notre Dame, you being a player there, playing in the WNBA, and the season that you were an assistant coach in the NBA with the Memphis Grizzlies and then taking this head job. What stands out most about the things that you were able to soak up from that experience? Yeah, well, I felt like I was getting my doctorate being. Um, but I'm so impressed just with the versatility of obviously you being an assistant at Notre Dame, you being a player there, playing in the WNBA, and the season that you were an assistant coach in the NBA with the Memphis Grizzlies and then taking this head job. What stands out most about the things that you were able to soak up from that experience? Yeah, well, I felt like I was getting my doctorate. Being, I took the culture piece, you know, that I learned by being with the Grizzlies. And as you can see, they're <laughs> number one in the West. So um, I learned from an incredible organization. Yeah, really impactful. You were to his professional career in the league. But I want to know, take us back. You as a parent and trying to balance being a coach at heart, uh, being the mother to a son that was such an, an excellent talent. How would you characterize what you were like in balancing both those roles? Well, I was lucky to have a village um, that helped me be able to have, you know, that work-life balance. Um, How does that balancing act continue now as you try to, you know, continue to watch his games, probably give him some, you know, gems of wisdom, but still carry on with your responsibilities as well? Yeah, well, I'm lucky that um, I've had opportunity, but I think for me, being a mother, being present is the biggest thing, the biggest gift I can give Jaden. So we're watching you and you got a lot of hardware behind you. And of course, you were part of that first national championship team for Notre Dame back in 2001. You have been a part of direction and that's all our sites are set for for Dallas. But, you know, my site is set for Clemson on Thursday right now. Oh, absolutely. Coach Neil Ivy, we wish you and your team the very best and Jaden as well this season. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Well, when we come back on We Need to Talk, Alyssa, join us. Alyssa, thanks so much for being here with us. Thanks so much for having me. I'm now, so excited. It, Alyssa, we got to go back to this because it, it's incredible to have watched that moment and think about how much you poured into it to be the youngest individual to ever be uh, the top overall pick. What was that like as you were surrounded by your family and friends? Um, it's really everything that I've been dreaming of, um, being able to play in L.A. Accomplished. I know there's so many more to come, uh, but your first national game, an opportunity to play with individuals that I imagine you had watched growing up and playing soccer. When you were subbed in, you sub in for Megan Rapino. Uh, I just wanted to get on the ball and like get in there and just start running around really to get the nerves settled. But um, I, I think it's nothing really new. I think it's going to be um, amplified a little bit because I'm a pro now, but I think that um, I'll be good with balancing everything. No doubt. You'll surely being able to go there to do graduation and with my friend, just like ending off the you to have all the things both on the field, off the field with your friends, with your family. And we're so excited um, for all that is to come for you. Thanks for being here with us. Thank you so much. And, and wit, as she's known, and the 88 titles. I mean, you have to think about the longevity of her career. There weren't as many tournaments week after week as there are in today's uh, tour. And so to understand what she's done. She said she had a quote. Uh, I don't think about the legacy. Just we, we heard Dottie talking about her grinding and it's just all about, I just have my eyes focused on. Just uh, amazing to see that piece of LPGA history as well. It's there's such a rich history. He also was able to follow her, of course, in the career earnings. Again, part of that rich history of the L forward and try to bring the next generation along and to be rem remembered in such a way is just, you know, so deserving of that. Yeah. Lifts everyone, grows the game. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, don't go away.